Welcome back to the Wolf Pit. Today I'm making goulash, but this isn't the American style goulash with ground beef and elbow macaroni that most of us are used to eating. This is a Polish style beef goulash which has bite sized chunks of chuck roast, peppers, onions, and mushrooms simmered to melt in your mouth perfection in a rich and savory sauce. It's very simple to make and very delicious. So let's get started. Let's get started by seasoning the chunks of chuck roast with salt and black pepper. You can find a full printable copy of this recipe and many more at thewolfpit.com. And now add some all-purpose flour. And this flour must have been vegan because it did not want to come out of the measuring cup and get mixed in with the meat. Once you finally coerce the flour out of the measuring cup into the meat, get your hands in there and give it a good mix. And like I always say, when you mix things with your hands, they taste better. And make sure all the meat is nicely dusted with flour. Now I'm adding olive oil to a preheated cast iron skillet over medium heat. If you don't have a cast iron pan, that's fine. Just use the heaviest bottom pan you have. That's another great thing about this goulash. It's all prepared in one pan. One pan makes for an easy cleanup. Now shake off any excess flour and add half of the meat. Spread it out into a nice even layer and let it sit there for about two minutes to form a nice crust. After two minutes, flip all the pieces over and let them go for two more minutes. After four to five minutes, the meat will have a nice crust. Now remove the meat and add the second batch of meat and repeat the same process. Once all the meat has been browned, you're gonna have bits and pieces stuck to the bottom of the pan. This is called fond, which will come off the bottom of the pan as we add moisture and add lots of flavor to the dish. Now add sliced yellow onion, red and yellow bell pepper, or you can just use green bell pepper. Now add sliced mushrooms, give everything a good mix, and let it cook down for about five minutes over medium heat. Now mix in fresh chopped garlic. Add the meat back to the skillet. followed by tomato paste, chicken broth, Hungarian paprika, and salt and pepper. And then give it a good mix. And if it's a little thick at this point, add a little bit of water. Give it a good mix, bring it up to a boil, cover, reduce the heat to medium low, and let it simmer for two and a half to three hours or until the meat is fork tender. After simmering for three hours, the meat is fork tender and everything is cooked down. Now I'm gonna thicken it up a bit with a little bit of cornstarch slurry, which is equal parts cornstarch and cold water. Mix it in until it's thickened. Now I'm serving it over classic potato pancakes or you can serve it over noodles or dumplings. And if you don't want to use beef for this recipe, you can also use pork. And there you have it. Polish style beef goulash served over classic potato pancakes with a little bit of sour cream on top. This turned out absolutely delicious. The meat was melting your mouth tender. The sauce was rich, savory, and absolutely delicious. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you give this a try. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe and come back every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday for new recipes and cooking videos.